Mary Ann Bonatti, and today I'm going to be planting some petunias, but I want to tell you about a tip before you plant petunias that are nice and big and full like this. But this tip's going to break your heart a little bit. So this petunia is a prune winners and is called a super tunia, Picasso in purple. Now you see it's a bicolor, it's got lime green, it's got deep purple. It's a very artistic looking petunia, but the growth has gotten kind of carried away kind of held it a little bit too long on my patio waiting to get it planted and it's not as short and squatty as this what petunias normally will look like when you transplant them right into your garden but to make this petunia less leggy all you have to do this is the part you're not going to like is just randomly cut these long branches oops right in half you don't even have to be careful where you cut basically get in there and snip off, removing half the length. Now here's the good part. Petunias are great cut flowers. So just find yourself a short little vase, plunk the, the petunia blooms in that you just pruned off the plant, and now it doesn't hurt quite so bad that you took off all those flowers. So once you've got the petunia pruned back a little bit, now it's easier to work with and you can slide it out of the pot. I massage the pot to make it easy to slide. I use the serrated edge of this cool planting trowel to slice into the root ball, like this. Separate that root ball and simply pop it into the ground. I have some great potting soil in this window box. But remember, I've cut back half of this petunia. That means I have to fertilize it so that it'll quickly repopulate itself with flowers. Now I'm using Osmocope because it's a slow release plant food. Great for plants that have just been pruned. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit around the base of the plant. And then after you fertilize, even if you use a slow release plant food, you wanna water. Water that in well. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Prune back your petunias by half, fertilize, and water. There I am, Benetti. Easy answers for great gardens. Mm -hmm.